You can join me if you like. Nah, I'm still a bit hungover, actually. So? Oh, well, then I, I don't have a map. It's OK. I brought one for Larissa. It was one of my goals this weekend. What, do you, are you good together? No, teacher. Don't you find it centers you? I mean, yeah, when I have time for it. You have to make the time. The things you really want, anyway. That's if you know what you want. You're going to uni, right? Yeah. I'm doing it. No, no, don't tell me. I'm good at this. You're going to do something, like, super creative. Art. Architecture, maybe, or literature. Wow. Did I get it? <laughs> I mean, like the bit about me going to uni? Ooh. Yeah. Close. <laughs> um, I'm doing a certificate in accounting. Great. Sounds... What, boring? No. No, not if that's what you want. Uh, so how long are you guys staying here anyway? I thought you said it was okay. Oh, yeah, it is. It's fine. I just, I just want to know. That's all. What? No drinks? Oh, wait. Suddenly they're, they're invisible. What, you forget your wallet or something? I got my ID. OK, well, use a driver's license. Thank you. I didn't think of that. Um, so we could go back to the car or we could... I left it at home, home. So just try buy without it. I did. Rudest old lady ever. Wouldn't believe me. Mm. Old cow with a bowl cart? Oh, you've met. Yeah. Uh, she had me such a look the other day. It's like, she's got a thing I was better to do than run my night. It's the law. Oh, and we wouldn't want to be breaking that, would we? Why don't you just buy it? Well, uh, because you have to be 18 and I've still got a week to go, so. So now I'm trying to buy drinks for a minor too. That's that's brilliant. Yeah, you and I should just so like. It's so creepy. Excuse me. Give me a sec. Where are you going? Uh, the bowl shop. You just said you weren't 18. Oh yeah. Uh, little secret. Uh, they actually only ID you if you pay for the stuff. Hey, don't. Ser seriously, you're not coming back. Larissa. <sighs> so I try to cycle through it every couple of days. Why? So, when someone walks past, there's something new to catch their attention. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Ooh, OK. This on that mannequin thingy. Perfect. Hmm. How about we leave the styling to me, yeah? Oh, well, what do you want me to do, then? Well, I've got to go to the wholesaler today, so... We'll be on the tails. Yeah? Money? Hmm. I've got Willa for that, actually. If she ever turns up. So, you can unpack some stock. What does that involve? Using all those hard-earned high school skills. You take it, take the clothes out, throw the plastic on the ground, put them on a coat hanger. Ew, what? Do you really need me to explain that to you again? Oh, that just sounds so boring. Yeah, well, it's a job, not a hobby. You remember that, right? How to the bus drivers. Hmm. Hey. Hey. So, what happened? Stopped in Coldstream. Driver got off the bus. Like, he could not give two Fs. Ten minutes later, another got on. Mm, really? Oh, my God, I hate it when that happens. That's so annoying. Right? Mm. Like, I'm nowhere better to be. Willa, this is my sister, Ruby. She's going to be helping us out today. Oh, sister? Heard a lot about you. Like what? Nah, <laughs> kidding. Didn't know she had one. Oh, now you do. So, stock? Stock. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, you aren't going to get us any. Can you at least go back and leave some money? What is wrong with you? Look, sorry if I'm just a little bit concerned about what's going to happen. Oh, my God. What? Nothing! Jeez! Take it from me, OK? You don't want a criminal record. OK, there is no way. Me. Girlfriend. Astrid, shut up. No. My name is Heidi. OK. She got busted once when she was younger, and it didn't work out well. And how are you finding a long-distance relationship? What? Well, I just take it that she's locked up in some maximum security prison now. She's in Queensland, if you must know. Oh, my God, that's even worse. <laughs> 
So how are you finding it? The whole not seeing each other thing. We talk. That's hot. That's not so bad. Tried that once. It didn't work out. The problem with long distance is that there's just other people that are more close distance. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Well, how do you know what she's up to? It's called having a healthy relationship. We do like two video calls a day. Sounds awesome. I'm making the best of it. What's she up to now? Don't know, I don't need to. What's she look like? Why? I want to see who Astrid's cooking with. You are so barking up the wrong tree. Oh, you two are cute. Thanks. How long have you been together? A while. Not many photos of the two of you together, is there? Yeah, I mean, don't you hate couples who are like that? They're, like, they're just so insecure, they have to put it out there. <gasps> Ooh, take out a story! <laughs> oh my god, who's this girl that she's what with? Girl? <gasps> hey, you're clearly not concerned at all, are you? You're hilarious. Can I have that back now? Nope, nope. Seriously, just give it back to me. Give it back to me. Give it back to me. That's brilliant, it won't turn on. Why'd you grab it? Me? Why did you drop it? How am I meant to call Heidi now? Well, it's like insurance or something, right? Ugh. If I ever have to see another clothes hanger again, it'll be too soon. <laughs> Pretty tedious, hey? Yeah, and I thought school was boring. It's all downhill from here. What do you mean? I did Husbo before this, some dive bar. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. If you like the smell of stale sweat and getting every night ruined, this is way easier. Trust me. I'll swap you. Till for the stock cupboard. What do you like with customers? Fine. Do you have any experience? Doesn't mean I won't be good at it. Okay. <laughs> so if I was like some six-year-old woman and I came into the shop and I was like, I don't like it, I want a refund, what do you do? Give him one. Who cares? Ah. Tess. Tess is who cares. Someone's got to pay for those garish outfits. <laughs> oh my god, they so don't suit her. Especially for someone who considers herself a fashionista. <laughs> anyway, you kind of just have to cajole them into buying something else, but ugh, pensioners, man. So hardcore. Why? They don't care. Like, something in your brain just changes when you get older. Like, you know how old people can just talk to anybody? Oh, my God, my dad's like that. It's so annoying. Right? You're like, hey, how are you? And all of a sudden, they're telling you their entire life story. Oh, it's so cringe. This one woman came in last week. 45 minutes, she was talking to me. The whole shop was empty. I could have been scrolling. Oh, why didn't you make up an excuse? So much a lunch break or something. They only hear what they want to hear. I think a lot of people are like that. Hi. Click the link in the description to be one of the first to watch the full series. Every rental and purchase helps us to create more Flunk series and movies. You'll also get to see lots of behind the scenes videos and stuff that you can't see anywhere else.